Good much. evening, my name is the Ferret, I'm on Skull Hightower plus EU with a alarm copter. Hello. Okay, uh, quick word, just say, you know, stand for reply. Please mute us if you don't like the sound of our voices. Um, it's the ear with the X through it. Uh, find us a list of those people and just turn us off. It's the easiest way to shut us up. Now, anyway, uh, what do you think of Hightower, man? Um, I think Hightower and the combination of a 33-man server is kind of conducive to, um, sort of the shenanigans that go about in this kind of game. It is for the most part just a mess around game. Although saying that, both teams are actually kind of playing, which is quite surprising. Yeah, I do agree. I think you, I think it's about nine o'clock is that something where the adults have basically got into gear and all the kids off the server. <laughs> Not all of them, there will be stragglers. So I'm lacking bedtime. But in any case though, I mean the thing is actually you get 30, 32 guys in the server and you know, it's, you're bound to get somebody pushing the car at some point. The map's way too small for that amount of people. Yeah, even if it's by accident, you know, running past the cart just on your way to kill someone. <laughs> yeah, and in this game where the cart doesn't move backwards, that's just progress. <laughs> now, in any case, let's look at team sorts going on. Um, right now, I am placing my bets on red for the time being. Look at the cart and the team copy. Blue making a cardinal sin. You might have spotted it. Yeah, I'm. I'm definitely saying red uh, for the time being. It. I don't know. It just. Yeah, for this map especially, close quarters, that makes a lot of sense. Well, there's one particular class I'm not seeing, which is vital to every game, which is always forgotten. <laughs> it's almost as if nobody likes playing that class. Well, you kind of expect it on a 33-man high tower server. It's time to kick ass and just kick ass with somebody. <laughs> But in any case, so looking at the blue team, they should be performing quite nicely. I mean, who's that guy on the car? It's Genedy there. He's got cover and a medic um, and crits, which always helps. Oh wow, medic is a fun. Use pub users? No, good medic will win you entire games. Maybe not this map, but it's a bit more open. But on a standard fixed point attack defense map, great. And as stated before, please, please use the mute button if you don't want to hear me or him. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think. Oh, that's what you were saying. I, th I think any class is uh, pretty much valid, especially on a map like this. But yeah, any class is valid if the player knows how to use it. Oh yeah, yeah. We're doing a video. Yes, it's all being recorded right now. But yeah, I just want to say. I mean, you could just mute one of us, but you only get like a one-sided commentary. <laughs> That'd be weird as all hell. Uh, we'll give that out at the end of the uh, session if that's okay. Now, in any case. Looking around the map, yeah, blue, yeah, blue haven't really got their game on yet. Red are just can't, can't be trying to attack. They've hit the, you know, the infant part of this map, which is the ramp. For me, this is the defining bit of High Tower. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty much where you can expect at least 50% of the game time to go in. And I mean, it's no secret that that is pretty much the engineer spot of the decade for this map. Yeah, I mean, this is the thing. Oh, hey, you there. Taking on Genedy. Oh, nearly. Genedy down to 11 health. Thought we could pan him to oblivion, but not enough. Fat man is too fat. But yeah, I mean, uh, this is the thing. I mean, that's that central spot there, that's pretty much a given. I mean, it even has like a, you know, watch your step sign for up there. For instance, for indicate. Yeah, this is where you need to go. <laughs> I mean, if they keep clear, that'd be amazing. That's from a dead giveaway from the developers. <laughs> but you know, we've got to see Blue are actually doing the job of defending. And they are getting with the cart now. Yeah, I think for the most part it's kind of standard fare in terms of high tower, but red do kind of look as if they've got at least the uh center battleground, whatever you wish to call that. Um they seem to be pretty good at keeping their presence felt there. But in terms of attacking the cart, they're having a bit of a harder time on that side of things. Yeah. I mean, this is exactly where we say a medic is damn useful. Basically, if you want to get rid of those sentries, now, this is the point. Taking on a sentry face first is never a good idea. You need to outflank those things or get an Uber on them. And at this range, it's weird because it's a very difficult place to attack them from. Ideally, you'd go around the corner, get around behind them. If you're a demo man, great, you can clobber them. If you're heavy, you've got a good medium range. Get your medic in front of you. 
push in, take it down. Yeah, especially on a map uh, where, you know, where the sentries are placed in this sort of style, where it's basically right on the edge of a lip. If you can sort of get underneath the lip, and then as a demo man, that's you know, pretty much perfect. Other classes aren't going to fare so well. I mean, I wouldn't really go for soldier for taking down sentries. Now, as I've always said, I mean, a soldier with a full rocket rocket launcher could do it. Um, the other problem is, um, oh, sorry, I thought I was going to say, but the other problem with the lip is for demo man is that you you know you're trying to fire stickers and they're supposed to hit the floor. The problem with the lip is, you either hit the sentry itself and it just falls off completely, or it just hits underneath it, which isn't a good blast radius. Yeah, it is quite difficult to judge as well. I think um, another important class on this map is Spy, just because of that sentry presence, because, I mean, it's just an awkward place to try and attack. Well, you say that. And, pretty um, much cover all the way for the sentry. Well, ask and you shall receive. We did see just the spy take down one of the sentries. I mean, that's good work there from Blue. Now, here's the thing. Now, I mean, what? I think you've been on this uh, map a few times before with me. I think you know we've seen some real uh, speed pushes in our time. Yeah, I think on this map it's kind of like if you can get past that. Um, I guess what would you call it? The upward push in the barn. Then, if you can get past that, you're pretty much guaranteed to win because. There's no time for the other team to set up. Once you pass that, they have they have lost a huge, huge uh, defense advantage there. So yeah, that barn, like I said, pretty much 50% of the game is spent in there. So do as much as you can to get it out of there as fast as you can. Yeah, one thing I am beginning to see, I'm just checking the rosters. Yes, we are seeing more heavies. Um, they weren't around before, and they are beginning to dominate the game with medics. You can't see them like walking around, kind of casual like, and just generally mopping up guys in the lower area. Oh, wait, there's a Uber. It's looking good, it's looking burny. Okay, and it's off to find new things. Maybe an engineer that's got crits. Um, and just keep pushing. Nicely done there. Now, I think Blue may be able to get push up with that. Oh, Joe got lucky there. I mean, pushed it heavy off the side, but you know, talented heavy versus a puff of pyro is tricky because you yeah, know you can simply just shoot the guy puffing you. I think when this map came out, that was a really, really choice tactic there. What Joe was doing because you know you're so close to the edge, but now a lot of people are wise to the fact that there's nearly always going to be someone around that corner, and if it's pyro, they are just going to air blast you. So. Nowadays, it's kind of like the Dead Ringer. People are, people know what they're on about, so it's less useful. Yeah, agreed. One thing I've seen, that Blue are beginning to push now. It's looking good. Although they just can't seem to nail the car. And there is Jur again. He's fighting against the Cactus. <laughs> uh, got unlucky there. Cause sharp off. He's got backing. Oh, no, he's been heavy. Oh, damn dead. But look at Rectum there. Oh, do you have to have that name? Uh, <laughs> I do not want to look at your Rectum. Um... But gets that up the hill nicely done. I'm mean, actually blue have actually moved ahead of red, which is a nice turnaround for this game. Because you know, I guarantee you, the car, having the car up there is a massive advantage. Now it's pure progress from here on in. You just keep touching it. Wait, that's only even worse. <laughs> Why is everything I say in window? But yeah, look at this now. I mean, red car is still down there. You know, blue are really sentry landing at the time being. And yeah, they, they've held that off. With a good defensive position, they just liberate the rest of their guys up to just simply push the car, and it's working beautifully. Yeah, like you said, I mean, having sentries there basically frees up every other person. And on a 33 man server, that's a lot of people to throw at one car. Yep. Although, to be fair, I think red are trying to rebuild. Trying in the optic word. Also, I don't know that wisdom moving the sentry. We've seen it before. It's not a winning this kitten tactic, and there it goes. I mean, personally, man, I mean, when do you think you should move a sentry? Oof. Um, I'd say nine times out of ten, don't, because um, I tend to opt for the Eureka effect if I can, um, especially on like maps where you have a setup time. But you know. If you have to, then do it before the enemy is, is around. You know, 
you've got to really have a good game sense know when people are going to be coming around the corner and get yourself out of danger keep your sentry up in a slightly safer place and yeah that wasn't ideal you know it was just putting it back in the same range and you know it was going to get taken down no matter what yeah it's what I like to call building in the face of the enemy which is never a good idea you, you can't do that unless you're playing min dreadful minis but look at this now the cart's out the barn it's getting around the corner now what's happening here is Blue are now focusing their attention around the top end of the map so they've got to keep an eye on the bottom end to make sure Red don't get get the you know get back up the, up the ramp but Red are still spread out across the entire map they've got to try and push their car and defend their, you know, the blue one now the other thing I do notice is that Blue are now going to start taking the Spire that main big tower in the middle yeah something Something I like to see on here, I mean, it's so rare you actually get to see it, but if an NG can build up there and get a level 3 up there, my goodness, oh, that's a my. great, great thing to do. Yeah, no, I've seen, you know, an NG domineer that, because one thing about higher tower is people love this, the jumpiness. And I remember playing heavy in a casual game, and I got so much hatred for playing heavy and shooting people out of the sky. It's like, what are you doing? You're, you're killing us. That's the joke. <laughs> yeah, but look at this blue team. They're just pushing in nicely. Okay, one thing I, I have seen that has actually given me a bit of hope. Red have abandoned putting sentry placements in the barn. The amount of times I've seen like a, red, you know, a losing team uh, put sentries in the wrong place in the barn, hoping the cart's going to come back. Like, uh, no, the cart's not going that way anymore. Yeah, I guess for the most part, put that down to inexperience. Because if you've got, if you've got the cart where it is now, why ever bother going through that barn again? You know, you've got three or four different options to get there, so the barn is pretty much out. So you don't need to worry about what's in there. Yep, no, that's it. Effectively, when the carts reach this area, they're half of them are dead except for snipers. <laughs> I mean, what do you think Red should do here, man? I mean, they're in a, not in a good state. Um, they are currently on the back foot. Um, well, I think really what we need to see thrown out now is probably a couple of Ubers because they've got. Blue have got some really, really nice people attacking, and, you know, they've generally got mostly high level. Uh, high health classes, so they need to be able to throw out a lot of damage and not take a lot. So, you know, banners, Ubers, need something like that. But it, I don't know, I haven't seen a Uber from Red in a long time. Agreed. Um, uh, yet, uh, how are you, uh, Elvato? Said, I'm oh, fine, thank you, and um, <laughs> uh, I hope you like in the commentary. But yeah, no, what I'm thinking here is, you know, the Fat Man strategy, when both teams got more Fat Men, things improved. Um, Maybe you don't want a high amount of cholesterol on the team, but, you know, you need some big guys. I mean, the amount of times you see a lineup, you see, like, no soldiers, no dome men, you think, ah, oh, this team's going to lose. Yeah, that, it is important that you have that balance. And, I mean, it's not to say that... Uh, not to say that Red is doing badly, because they've got a nice team balance, but I think... You know, as is often the case, they've got the wrong people playing the wrong classes. You know, people play differently, and although saying that, they do seem to have uh, picked it up a little bit. They do seem to be getting a bit more into the fat man shindig. So, yeah. Now, nah, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, I, I I don't mind people who play a bit badly, maybe playing class and experience with. At least they're trying to fix the situation by playing the right class. And personally, I was one of those guys. And, you know, it's kind of where I, I take my professionalism for doing this commentary from. In I've played all nine classes to the point where, I, yeah, I know what all this all supposed to do. I'm not a command. I'm a jack of all trades, master of none, basically. But okay, here comes I mean, ah, uh, spy to take there. I love angry agro engineers. Yeah, it's just they're getting, they're getting the whole spirit of the game. Of, you know what? I've got guns. I can do things now. Yeah, on, on a map this small, you really, really need to have a dynamic NG, and... Oh, look at him. He's winning the game. <laughs> He's taunting. Oh, no. Is he going to lose? No, he wins. Oh, hats off that NG. He actually just won the game with a taunt. 